with two miles to go on this foresty road. I'm at the very southern edge of Park County. And according to my uh, compass, I got a fire due north of here. I'm actually at 77 degrees. I don't think that's Colorado Springs. Huh. Back to the farm. I need to do a little uh, boulder removal off this road here, man. Right, decisions, decisions. Three down, steep. I've got us found our campsite. Yeah. I don't know if I want to go further down. Not sure how we're gonna get up. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we did it. It's too lazy to want to hike another two miles down to the river each day. All right. Cool. How y'all doing? I know y'all hate my guts right now. All right, on the road again. Well, this is it. We made it. Nothing ever goes as it seems. We did make it down here. Uh, we were able to drive down, it was pretty hairy. But when I came down, I noticed all the signs heading back where I came from said that road is closed. And they said this one here is closed. What's up, dude? Don't fall in, man. Oh, he's all muddy, too. Let's see if I find how deep that water is. Oh, shit. Frankie's a swimmer. You better be swimming, buddy. Penny jump in. That's a deep moving river. Penny, Penny, Penny! Where's your girlfriend at? Good afternoon, campers. This is Lobo. Getting everything set up. Pooch has had their couple hours of fun off leash. Frankie was, for the most part, a good boy, but it is uh, Deer 30. And at Deer 30, we don't want to... Deer 30 is also Coyote 30 and Mountain Lion 30. So, went ahead and leashed your guys up. There you go, Penny. Stay. Penny had an exciting moment. She, uh... The water... Let me show you the water first, I guess. we got a nice, lazy river. I can smell the forest burning. I don't know if you can see off in the distance. How smoky it is. It's a very smoky. I didn't see any fires that way though. That's to the south. It smells like forest fires, man. Uh, what I did see is over the top of that ridge, about two or three ridges down. I'm guesstimating 50 miles? I don't know, to the north of the fire. I wasn't aware of the location. So we got the uh, river here. Gonna come out here and do some prospecting. I still may do some. Got a couple of challenges to deal with. Uh, first, uh, the water's fairly deep. I gotta find out how deep it is. Wonder Boy Frankie jumped into it and immediately went under the water and popped up and was swimming and he came back ashore. So I went down to see what was going on with him and Miss Penny Lou, who's always by my side, decided she wanted to do the same thing. Um, I guess that's what she did because we lost her for about 20 minutes. 
and I uh, couldn't find her. She wouldn't come. She didn't come when I call her, and that's a rare thing for her. She'll always come to me. So we struck out and started looking for her. And as I was walking through here, I heard a sound like a piece of metal. And so then I went up into here. And oh boy, that ant right there. She had uh, found her way to the side, but couldn't pull herself up. She was like holding onto the branches. She had her head on the shore, so she wasn't drowning or anything. Uh, but if we didn't find her, she probably most likely would have. So we yanked her up into the, uh, grabbed her by her collar and pulled her up. And I've made her stay at my side ever since. And uh, I would say this has been the most awesome place to go. Um, other than the fact that this is close to motor vehicles. Fun stuff. So, uh, yeah. And what happened was, is uh, we came 22 miles over this way. And the last five miles, uh, where it starts in Long Gulch Road, it got pretty gnarly, man. It was straight up and down. I went across a boulder face at one point. Um, there was a gate up there. Well, before I got to this point down here, I was about a mile away from this spot. I saw a couple of kids um, on four-wheelers coming the other way. And they kind of like looked at me funny. Like maybe they didn't like my car or something. And what I think happened was, I think those little bastards opened up the gate and this road is supposed to be closed. Because I had assumed that I could come down this way and the topographical said this road goes right across the creek. And the creek should be long enough for me to cross. Well, it's deeper than Frankie. Um, yeah, so, interesting situation. I'm not sure if I can, well I'm going to have to, find a way out of here. Uh, back the way I came. I was, uh, at one point, I just assumed it was going to be a one-way trip. So, but anyway, here's how uh, campsite is set up. Well, <laughs> we may not escape from here, but at least we're going to have fun. Penny, you got something hanging out of your nose. There was a fire ban going on. I don't know how old this is. There's cigarette butts in the pit. So, somebody's been down here in the last week or so. Yeah, it is smoky. I don't know if you're catching this up at home. And I'm not worried about uh, this place going up so much because it already has at one point. And we took a little walk here and surveyed the area. Kind of let all the critters know that uh, a primate and a couple of canines are in the area. Oh, if they're in the distance, there's a deer. We ran full speed for about two hours. Everybody wakes up day after tomorrow. Still smoky. I have my little nightcap. <laughs> 